Hi guys, I'm just here with Nora because I did a haul at H&M today. I went into the city with my partner as a friend and slash boss of his uh, is leaving the country and thus leaving the jobs. They had a leaving work due at one of the local pubs which was beautiful and the food was delicious. Uh, but I wanted to take the chance, uh, I wanted to take the opportunity I should say, being in the city to go to H&M because there's only a H&M either Macquarie or the city and Macquarie is an incredibly long drive where it's the city is like an hour-ish long train train trip so I figured we we're already in there no skin off our nose and I went in and I got a few things very few things um she's out of her overalls she's been wearing and um I just tried on one of the things I got her because H&M clothes run really huge. So she's normally a double zero. She's like a double zero in everything. Went to H&M. I looked at the clothes. The double zero was like something a one year old would bloody wear. Um, to give you a reference, a uh, double zero is like a three to six month size. So a six month size roughly. Um, and I got her these beautiful kitty cat overalls and they fit her so well so got that there oh, I'm covering the ears <laughs> there we go beautiful kitty cat overalls and they're all beautiful and got that same print but what I didn't realize was you're probably seeing that same print in the background um, I found a pretty dress in that print that's also got a kitty cat on it <laughs> and I didn't really make the cat connection it's like a it's a bodysuit um, one so it's like see it's got the bodysuit under there it's absolutely adorable and I'm probably gonna be putting her in this tomorrow um, I'm gonna wash it as you probably know if you watch me regularly I wash all my clothes beforehand because while she's dark and while she's sealed these dolls we spend hundreds of dollars on are still vinyl and vinyl uh, absorbs color like crazy if you've ever had a Barbie as a child and like you've taken off the clothes it's come with and it's got a pink stain or a purple stain or whatever on uh, stain on it that it's been wearing color wise um, that's because it's made of vinyl and vinyl really sucks color in so I really do urge you please please wash the clothes that come with your reborn babies and wash the clothes that you buy for your reborn babies especially things that are going to be heavily dyed like jeans and really um vibrantly colored t-shirts and the like because those things will either right away or eventually um with prolonged wear even it could even be like five minutes it, you could take it off and it, it's stained it's done um and you know you're sitting there going holy fucking shit what the fuck I've just ruined my 800 900 dollar doll depending what currency you're in um that's roughly the amount that's kind of my max for dolls is around a grand Australian um if the doll I think is worth it I'll spend a little more I never have but I probably would do now I also got these pants these are on sale um, and they're just so cute because um, February is the end of winter, at uh, the end of winter, the end of summer for us, and um, it will, s it won't really be that nippy straight away. Um, but I figured there's no harm in preparing, and I also need a few shirts because I actually realised how little tops this one has. Um, this just, just doesn't have, have many at all, and um, she's got that, and she's also got this really cute little hat so you wear it with the bow to the front my partner informs me but I actually think it would look really cute as a little bonnet as well so you can wear it either or I reckon like in the crib uh, not in the crib in the pram forward would be nice because neck doesn't need that much protection while laying down in a pram whereas the face does um and of course it's got the little little ties uh and I'm just gonna reach over Nora and get the bag um as I got some other things on sale as well come out I think that's it I th yeah that's it um for my new teeny tiny baby puppy and this was on sale as well look at that discount look at it it's so good um now I just realized zero to one month is the smallest size H&M do and it's fucking huge babies like I'm looking at this going holy shit 
Like, this might fit some newborns just fine, but the newborn I have, the Scarlet by Bonnie Brown, holy shit, no, it will not. Um, like, it'll be big on her. It'll be baggy. But it was on sale, and it's fucking adorable. Look at this little tracksuit set, and look at the hoodie. It's just so beautiful. So I got that for her too. I also wanted to share, oh my god, Nora's sealant has come off on her lips. Look at it. It's just going to focus. I'm probably too close to my camera. Look. Um, so that is just from the pacifier, and that is because I've been neglecting taking the pacifier off whilst I've been handling her um so please 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 uh whenever you pick up your doll or want to pick up your doll take the pacifier out or I should say off take the pacifier out or off of the doll whilst you're carrying them and moving them around because what will happen is like I've got this this sorry I've got this covered with some material and um, it's it's not very harsh or anything like that. Obviously, you can still see one of the magnets poking through. And while you might think, oh, that's just sitting on her face, what's happening is it's moving around and doing all this kind of thing while you're handling them. And that's rub, rub, rubbing. And so that's my doing. But thankfully for me, <laughs> I have sealant so I can reseal her. Um, whereas for a lot of collectors... You may not. You may actually have to take the head off your baby and send it off somewhere for someone else to seal for you. Um, so please be really careful with your pacifiers and take them off before handling your doll. So if your doll's in the crib, take the pacifier off, then pick the baby up, do whatever you want to do, and once you've finished dressing them or handling them, um, then you can put your pacifier back on. Um, I'm not. I'm not telling you what to do, but I am. I'm suggesting it because um, this does happen. Like this isn't new to me. This isn't a big surprise, um, and I'm not upset about it. I'm not angry or anything like that. Um, it's just a fact, you know. It's just a fact of having these art dolls that get handled. Because let's face it, these these are art dolls. They cost a lot of money, um, but it is interactive art. We do interact with these babies. And oh my god, Nora's hands and feet have always seemed really super red to me. At the moment, her hands aren't that red. Her feet are pretty red, but they show so much redder on camera. Like, anyone would think that she was dying or something. Like, all her blood was in her hands and feet. But they're not that red in person. <laughs> but they are still quite red. But I think she's the most adorable baby anyway. This is the, um... Eastern Sculpt, by the way, from Bountiful Baby. Um, and it's like, I only got it at the time because it was the only sculpt that um, I could find in the size I wanted uh, that had closed eyes. Um, and I thought it was the ugliest motherfucking kit in the world. And I actually told the artist that too when I first received the baby. I said, you know what? I only chose chose this kit because it was the only one there. I think it's the most ugly fucking thing ever, but you have made it beautiful because she really has, hasn't she? This is by Jody from my sweet little angel's nursery. She's Australian also. And um she didn't actually know well, she knew, but I guess once she got the kit, it was it was bigger than she realised. Um, so I actually got the doll cheaper than I would have, um, I think. Um, I think she will, next time when she gets a doll this size, especially with rooting, uh, she'll reconsider how much she charges because I only got roughly a grand. Uh, uh, yeah, just a little over a grand, including shipping and whatnot. Um, and... That's sort of, I can imagine that price for maybe a, a newborn. But I just said to her, you know, please, if you need to charge me more, charge me more. Because I know this baby is huge and the head is going to be big. So, yes, that's that little, little story. Um, oh, it looks like she's blushing on camera. How cute is that? Um, so I'm going to be uh, la, 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 taking her out of the yellow shirt. Le I'll leave her in this while I seal her up. Um, but I am just going to undress her while I seal her lips back up. 
Uh, and yeah, yeah, that's, I mean, that's pretty much what I'm, what I'm going to be doing. This ended up being like a three, a uh, ten minute video when it was only meant to be like a two minute video. Um, but yeah, so that's the clothes I got guys. They're so pretty. And, um, yeah, please take what I said into account in regards to how to look after your baby. I'm going to have to update my, uh, care tips on my website and on the care cards I sent home with my dolls. Um, I also just want to say, please, if you would like a doll or would you would like a custom, please only comment um, that you would like a doll on doll videos that are showing dolls for sale. Nora and Poppy, the Scarlet by Bonnie Brown, they are my babies. They're from my personal collection. Um, I will make the video very clear um, if the baby in it is for sale um and if I haven't you know I'll I'll say so in my comments um and if you would like a baby um my email uh, not my email my website is always going to be in my description boxes from now on and from a, a few videos ago so you can uh take advantage of my current 50% off the base price of a doll that is 50% off my uh my time and uh, what's it called? My 50% off my time and my product costs. Um, you, that means that you still do need to pay for the kits, uh, whatever clothing you want to come home with, um, and eyes if they're open, and hair type. Um, for subscribers, you can go and subscribe on my website. You will be getting a 25% value of clothing coming home with your baby for free and that means if you decide to go for the $50 value clothing you'll still only be paying 25 if you go for the 75 you'll only be paying 50 and so on and so forth um, so I'm going to wrap this video up now guys thank you very much and thank you everyone who's been interested in the dolls so far um, I really do look forward to talking to you next time bye